guys it's Sarah welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are all doing amazing thank you for tuning in to today's video today I'm really excited to be here to share with you guys some Dollar Tree DIYs all around organizing your space so I have tons of areas in my house that I need to get organized and I had tons of Dollar Tree items already here so I decided to take them up a notch, try to make them not only look cute, but to be functional in the space. And I am really, really happy with the way that it all turned out. So be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. These are just easy ways that you can take regular items that you may already have, take them up a notch and make it functional and practical in your house. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing so before you go. I would love to have you. All right, you guys, let's get started on our first DIY. For the first DIY, I want to share with you guys how I took this raggedy old Dollar Tree bin and took it up a notch and made it into something that's more practical for my style. Dollar Tree has a ton of different bins for organization. These are for the summer. They come out with summer and fall styles. I love this style because I like the kind of weaving that it has on the front and we're gonna make it fit more with our decor. So I'm just gonna give it a couple coats of black paint. I'm using the Dollar Tree black chalkboard paint. This is really nice. It does have a little bit of shine, but you can use any type of paint that you want or a matte black chalk paint would work as well. You wanna make sure that you're using a sponge brush and getting inside of all of the little nooks and crannies because the paint can be visible. So give it a couple coats. Do not spray paint this. Spray paint transfers when you are touching it and if you have like a lot, it, like if it's gonna get a lot of use, if you're gonna be using it and putting things in it and moving it, I definitely would not recommend spray paint. So definitely stick with the chalk paint because it does work better. So once you have it all painted, you're gonna wanna go ahead and let it dry and we're gonna give it some handles. Using some of the Dollar Tree larger jute twine, we're just gonna place a little loop on each side of the basket using our favorite Gorilla Hot Glue. I love this stuff. I talked about it a lot in my last Dollar Tree DIY. This is my favorite hot glue. I feel like it works the best. So we're gonna do that on both sides to create some really nice handles. Once you have the handles on, now you wanna go ahead and take a little bit of ribbon just to decorate the top. I used the Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Ribbon. I also added a little bow. This fits my decor if you guys have seen my house super well and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I feel like just giving it a facelift like this makes it much more toned down. It's easier to use. You could put it in your bathroom, you could organize your makeup, you could put it in your kitchen and it will be practical in any space. So I absolutely love these baskets. I think that it turned out really, really nice and I love the way that I was able to style it with my Dollar Tree picture and I also used like a upcycled Starbucks bottle and a couple florals that I already had. I really am happy with the way this turned out. So let me know what you think about DIY number one in the comments down below. Let's move on now to DIY number two. For DIY number two, I wanna share with you guys how to create a functional and beautiful cube organizing system that you can make work for any area in your house. I have seen this done over and over and over and over, over and over and over again on YouTube so many times, but when I saw the Lemon Avenue share a post on Instagram where she framed it out in wood, I fell in love and knew I needed to recreate it for my space. So follow her, check out her post. I will link her YouTube and her Instagram in the description box below. This is what I did to create mine. I just started with four of the cube organizers from Dollar Tree. The clear ones are the best ones, and I used a mixture of the paint stirring sticks as well as Dollar Tree rulers to frame it out. The rulers are a two pack for a dollar. You're probably gonna need about five packs of them, but they're so much easier to work with because you can just cut them with scissors. You don't need a handy husband that can cut the wood or a handsaw or any of that business. You just have to measure the length that you want for each of the pieces of wood, and then you can work from there. I measured each little section and I tried to just overlap it to hide any inconsistencies or errors, and then we're gonna go ahead and stain the wood. happen to have wood stain you can use the stain markers from Dollar Tree and it'll do the same effect 
but you want to stain it so we can whitewash it and make it look more aged and worn. I'm going to stain every single piece of the wood, the front, the top, the sides, so that none of it actually shows through. And then we're going to go through and we're going to paint it with chalk paint. Once the stain is dry, then you want to go in and paint your wood. I wanted mine to look more worn, but I could not find white chalk paint in my house anywhere. So I'm using a more taupey shade mixed with a little bit of water. I tried to do a, like a white wash over top of the stain, and then I went in with some white on top of that to make it be brighter and whiter. Because I do love the white, but the white paint didn't really look like chalk paint. So I just tried to play around with it and give it that age worn look. And by staining it first, it does that. And I really like the way that it looks once it was all dry and finished. I decided to use these decor tiles from the Target dollar spot that I got a while ago. I just cut them so that it was equal parts in the top and the bottom. Towards the end, I also laid a little bit of old wrapping paper that kind of looked like wood, so you could use craft paper, whatever you have, just to cover up that portion. It makes it look a little bit more put together and look a little better, I think, so it's totally up to you what style, color, pattern you want to use, but that is what I used. Once the wood pieces are completely dry, I took Gorilla Hot Glue and just attached each piece. I did label them when I took them apart after measuring them all out so that I could put them back exactly where I had them. You could also use wood glue along with the hot glue if you wanted it to be a super hold, but I feel like this is good enough. Totally up to you what you want to do. I did add a little bit of jute twine right to the center to try to like mask the over now oh, the overlappingness of it that's good english sarah my goodness <laughs> well you guys know what i mean to hide any imperfections you can use twine as well So here is a look at the finished organizer. I am in love with the way that it looks finished. I put all my craft stuff in it and I wanted to share with you guys a way that I'm organizing my acrylic paints. I saw this over on Instagram and I thought the idea was genius. So all you have to do is grab a Dollar Tree metal napkin ring. These are such good quality, they're heavy duty. And instead of holding napkins, we're gonna use it to hold our acrylic paints. You just have to place the paint straight through the metal portion. It makes it look like a rainbow and it fits perfectly inside of our little cubby. So I am so happy with both of these ideas. I definitely think that you guys should try them for yourself. The crate looks so high quality. It's super sturdy and it looks really nice. So I'm excited to organize my craft stuff with it, but you could also do your makeup. You could do it in your bathroom. It's just perfect for any space in your house. So let me know what you think about DIY number two in the comment section down below. DIY number three is how to create a Dollar Tree pegboard, which is perfect for organizing your jewelry, craft supplies, even your kitchen utensils. You're gonna need a picture frame as well as this grilled topper pan. This is in the seasonal section and there's two pans that come in a pack. We're gonna cut it right in the middle and then we're gonna cut the edge portion of it just so that we have the portion with the little holes. You may have to measure it to the picture frame of your size, but I just cut it right in half and cut off all of those bits. Using a little bit of white paint and water, I'm trying to whitewash this, trying to make it look a little bit more aged and worn to take away some of that shine so that it can match with everything else.
Once the paint is completely dry, we're gonna go ahead and attach that portion to our picture frame. I'm using our favorite Gorilla Hot Glue to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. I'm adding a good amount of glue to the corners as well as all around the edge of it. You wanna let that dry completely and then I went ahead and used binder rings to attach our basket portion to the bottom and then the wooden dowels that are from the Dollar Tree. You wanna make sure that you're using a lot of glue on the back and placing the dowel from the back into the front so that the glue acts as the stopper and it's nice and like nice and solid. It's not gonna move around and slip through. The holes are much smaller than the dowel size. That's why you need to use two and you also need to use a good amount of hot glue. You could definitely add more pegs if you have more things to hang and you wanna keep things visible so that you can see what you have. I feel like the possibilities are endless and you can really customize it to your own needs, your own wants. If you don't even wanna hang up pegs, you could just do your necklaces, your jewelry on here, and I think that'd be fantastic as well. So that is DIY number three. Let's move on now to DIY number four. DIY number four is great for kids to doodle and draw or to stay organized, or you can even use it for yourself if you need to stay organized while we lose our minds during this time. Or is that just me? I started with taking the Dollar Tree Circle Pizza Pan. This is great because it's a pretty good size and also it's magnetic. Because it's metal, you can use magnets on it. So I took the Dollar Tree chalkboard paint, gave it a couple good coats. You want it to be nice and thick so that you can actually write on it. And once it dries, you have a dual purpose item that you can hang things from or you can write on. And that's why I think it's great for kids because you can use it in your kitchen in a command station or you can let them doodle and draw on it if they have nothing else to do and they're bored. And this is one of the most affordable DIYs that you'll be able to find at Dollar Tree at just around $1.50. I think that is a fantastic price. I wanna share with you guys another option if you don't wanna have a circle. You can use any picture frame from anywhere. I used one that I had from a dollar store that's local to me. Dollar Tree has a ton of different picture frames, but you can paint the glass with the Dollar Tree chalk paint and have a similar effect. So all I did was start with my picture frame. I took the glass portion out. I did two good coats of the Dollar Tree chalkboard paint. I let that dry completely and then I reassembled my picture frame so that you have a surface that you're able to write on. You can do it in your office, you can have it in your kitchen and you can make it, it can blend in with the style that you already have without being something that's just bam in your face chalkboard. I think this is fantastic. I think it's really cool for a command center and I think it's super duper easy and super affordable if you're looking for a quick easy DIY just to keep you organized during all of this chaotic chaos. Oh. So those are all the DIYs that I have for this video. I hope that you guys got some new ideas, some inspiration. Be sure to save it to Pinterest if you want to do the DIYs later, or you can always save the video to your watch later if you want to try the DIYs at a later time. If you guys are still here, you know what it means. You know what it is. You are a real one, and I'm so, so grateful to all of you guys that stay to the end of the video. Leave the word tiger in the comment section down below. Carol Baskin, Tiger King, we love that show. I'm <laughs> all the memes have me dying so leave the word tiger in the comment section down below in a funny snarky cute kind of way and I'll feature some of you guys in my next video thank you for being here thank you for watching I love you guys from the bottom of my heart thank you for all you do for me and all of your kind comments and I will see you guys next time for another video bye you guys <laughs>